So on the flip side, I believe this is y'all's first game with Detroit. Maybe this is a case where, and look, I know Detroit eight and three still having a phenomenal season, but since their bye week, this is a defense that's allowing 31 points per game, almost 400 yards per game had a, you know, Jordan love had a phenomenal performance against them on Thanksgiving. I mean, maybe this is a case where somebody's got to buck the recent trend. I mean, whether it's the saints offense or the Lions defense, somebody's got to step up their play in this game. Yeah, I think there are two lenses to look at the Lions through. One is, my goodness, the best start they've had since the 1950s. This is a dream season. But then you zoom in with the expectations that are built from this start, and it's like, well, what in the world's going on lately? You know, these three games where they haven't played as well since the bye, they still won two of them, right? Like, how quickly things change? I grew up in Michigan, where so I, so I have this perspective of, like, my goodness, the Lions are 8-3. and three. And then, right. I, you know, I'm picking up the newspapers this week and you know, our version of newspapers, the digital copies that we get to, to study these teams. And it's like the sky is falling. I'm like, wait a minute. No, the sky was falling for my 20 years as a kid growing up in Michigan when they couldn't win a game. They're eight and three now. I know they're giving up some points lately, but it's just amazing to me how fast uh, expectations and narrative shift in this league. Which I'm glad you brought that up. I remember, you know, it, it feels like a lifetime ago now, but it wasn't that long ago. You and Moose did a Niners Jaguars game and the sky was falling for the Niners. It's three losses in a row and they go down to Jacksonville and they you know, just beat the brakes off the Jags and, and here they are. They're right back at the top. So whether it's just in general or maybe that game specifically, I mean, what do you have any insight on or, or did anybody from the Niners tell you when you're in that situation where people are acting like the sky is falling, is there any keys for the lions trying to bounce back and, and maybe regain some of that momentum? I think that it's probably a case by case basis, Dave, you know, you look at, you look at what the 49ers, they were, they had the buy. So a couple of ways to look at that. It's like, man, we got to stew on this for an extra week, but also Kyle Shanahan's always been really good coming out of buys. Um, so I, you know, there's the 49ers case and then specific to what we're talking about here with the lions. I don't know. We talk about the defense giving up a lot of points. I don't think their defense is going to be a strength at any point. I think the offense is, it's got to be, I think the offense has got to be better than they've been the last game or two, right? They, they, you know, they get seven turnovers the last two games. Like this team built yep. to score points and win games that way. So yeah, the defense should be better than it has been, but the offense needs to outscore teams for this version of the lions to be the lions. And, and lately they've not been the same offense. 